it's time. Ball! Wrestling. Come here! Tuesday? This week's episode of Wrestling Trivia Tuesday. Appreciate everybody tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, what I do is every Tuesday I ask five questions all dealing with the sport of professional wrestling. Also, if you, this is your first time, if you enjoy yourself, uh, click the like button. Also, leave a comment. Let me know how you did. And be a champ and click on that subscribe button. Also, if you want, like I said, this is episode 78, and uh, need some fresh questions here. Uh, I try to keep them as fresh as I can, but hey, if you want to, uh, if you have a question, want to ask, or have a question for the trivia game, uh, shoot me a comment, and not only will I place it on here, I'll give you a shout out saying this question comes from uh, Jill from or Jill472 at whatever, whatever the names go. Anyway, uh, I'll give you a shout out and ask, a, ask and answer the question on here as part of the trivia game. All right, put all that out of the way. Let's let her rip. Question number one. All right, kicking things off with question number one. Who was the first IWGP Intercontinental Champion? Was it A, Shinsuke Nakamura? B, MVP, or C, Masato Tanaka? All right, question number one again. Who was the first IWGP Intercontinental Champion? Was it Shinsuke Nakamura, B, MVP, or C, Masato Tanaka? The answer is B, MVP, yes. After his run in the WWE, uh, I think he did some independence, but uh, did some overseas tours, uh, namely in Japan, becoming the first person to win that uh, Intercontinental Champion, the IWGP version, of course. Uh, I believe Masato Tanaka was the second or third person to hold the championship. And Shinsuke Nakamura, I think he held it more or at least longer than anybody. Uh, but anyway... The answer is B, MVP. Question. Number two. All right. Uh, no, question number two. When did, what what day in the year uh, did WCW drop the NWA brand? Was it A, December 1st of 1988, B, uh, December 1st of 1989, or C, December 1st of 1990? Alright, question number two again. When did WCW drop the NWA brand? Was it A, December 1st of 1988, B, December 1st of 1989, or C, December 1st of 1990? The answer is C, December 1st of 1990. Uh, I believe uh, Ted Turner bought it in 88, kept the NWA brand. Uh, I guess there might have been other territories or people who claim to have a piece of that name, I guess. Anyway, uh, Ted Turner's like, fine, I got what I need. So he, they dropped the NWA name, which really broke my heart. <laughs> uh so, I don't know for reason I was you know I was a kid at the time yeah didn't understand stuff but uh anyway they dropped it in the, I just noticed I was watching like one of the classic champions and noticed that everything was called W like Ric Flair was called the WCW World Champion uh, I believe it was Steiner Brothers at the time the Steiners were called the WCW World Tag Team Champions uh might have been Arn Anderson Arn Anderson was called the 
WCW World Television Champion. Even though he was, even though even though at the time they were all holding the NWA belts, later they changed the tag belts. Uh, and of course everybody knows about the Flair, you know, leaving with a big gold belt. But they still kept the same lineage, but just dropped the name NWA on December first of nineteen ninety. Question number three. Question number three, who inducted Hulk Hogan in the WWE Hall of Fame in 2005? Was it A, Sylvester Stallone, B, Mr. T, or C, Bobby Heenan? All right, question number three again. Who inducted Hulk Hogan in the WWE Hall of Fame in 2005? Was it A. Sylvester Stallone, B. Mr. T, or C. His enemy Bobby Heenan? Well, the answer is A. Sylvester Stallone. Uh, makes perfect sense. Uh, his career skyrocketed after his appearance, Hulk Hogan's appearance in, as Thunderlips in Rocky Three. Uh, of course, you know. Sylvester Stallone was Rocky, or is Rocky, however you want to say it. Please, Hollywood, don't remake, not remake those movies. I know you kind of sort of are trying to with Creed, but eh, uh, they're okay. The Creed movies, at least the first two, I didn't see a third one yet. Uh, if anybody's seen the third one, let me know in the chats. Let me know what you thought about it, but I haven't seen Creed 3 yet. But uh, yes, it was Sylvester Stallone that uh, inducted Hulk Hogan into the Hall of Fame. Of course, Bobby Heaton. They had, you know, a long run of feud, of course. Uh, members of the Heaton family kind of captured that title for the brain. And, of course, speaking of Rocky Three, Mr. T was also in Rocky Three as Clubber Lane. Also, uh, Hulk Hogan did some guest spots on the A-Team, which starred Mr. T. So, yeah. Uh, very unconnected there, right? ain't it? Anyway, let's go to question number four. Question number four. She By the way, uh, that being question number three, total coincidence. I did not do it on purpose. It was just there. Anyway, question number four. Uh, who defeated Dick Slater and Johnny Weaver for the Florida Tag Team Championship on April 16th of 1975? Was it A, Eddie and Mike Graham, B, Harley Race and Roger Kirby, or C, the Hollywood Blondes. All right, question number four again. Who defeated Dick Slater and Johnny Weaver for the Florida Tag Team Championship on April 16th of 1975? Was it the father-son duo of Eddie and Mike Graham? Was it a uh, multi-time NWA World Champion Holly Race and Roger Kirby, or C, future Freebird Buddy Roberts, managed by Hol Oliver Humperdinck, but got this partner's name. Good gosh, who writes this stuff? Anyway, uh, or was it C, the Hollywood Blondes? The answer is B, Harley Race and Roger Kirby. Uh, gosh, I feel bad for forgetting the partner's name. Give me a second here. I will freaking tell you. Uh, but yes, uh, Dick Slater had a few partners. Johnny Weaver, from what, uh, he's usually, or, he was a bigger star for Crockett, I think, but was always in tag teams. And the Charlotte Terry was always a, uh, tag team territory, or for a long time was a tag team territory. But uh, and how they would do it would be they would have a veteran team with a young up-and-comer. So they kind of use that formula here, uh, young up-and-comer, that being Dick Slater. And no, not. Yes, the. Buddy Roberts and Jerry Brown. That's Jerry Brown. I knew it was Jerry something. But anyway, yes. Um, 
So I guess they use that formula also in Florida. Not sure. I, uh, only most documentaries and stuff I see about Florida wrestling, they skip over a few things and talk about Dusty Rhodes. Uh, I don't know. Tales of the ter- well, Tales of the Territory. Well, yeah, they mentioned uh, Dusty a little bit. Mentioned the Steve Kern feud a lot. Uh, and talk about you know Eddie and Mike Graham. So anyway, the answer is B, Holly Race and Roger Kirby. Question. Number five. All right, time for main event. Question number five. Who did Tommy Rich defeat to win the NWA National Heavyweight Championship in Atlanta Zomni on January 17th of 1982? Was it A, the mass superstar, B, Mad Dog Buzz Sawyer, or C, Outlaw Ron Bass. Alright. Asking the main event question one more time. Number five. Who did Tommy Rich defeat to win the NWA National Heavyweight Championship on January 17th of 1982? And Atlanta's Omni uh, was A, the mass superstar, B, Buzz Sawyer, or C, Ron Bass. It was A, the mass superstar. Uh, yes, he had a long career as the mass superstar. Of course, everybody knows as Bill Eddy underneath that mask, who would uh, be called at soon. He will be at demolition. Uh, word of face paint and everything else. And, uh, of course, Tommy, I think he had multiple reigns. I think uh, Mass Superstar ended Tommy Rich's first reign. It, okay. I'm trying to figure out how they did this. This was the end of the second reign with with uh, Mass Superstar and the beginning of the second reign of Tommy Rich. I played us out how it happened. But anyway, yes, uh, of course, 1982. Uh, Tommy Rich was a big star, a big national star. So, of course, he's got to be national champion. Anyway, that does it for this week's Wrestling Trivia Tuesday. Like I said, leave a comment. Let me know how you did. And let me know if I messed up anywhere. Uh, also, this week, I got coming up. It is, gosh, I keep trying to scroll this down. Uh, Thursday, of course, is Spot Show live stream with me, Ronald Ray. Uh, this week I will be, I guess, talking about some AEW new new uh, news bits and uh, uh, talking about the WWE draft. Plus, give predictions for Backlash. Uh, and of course, Friday night we'll have some fun talk, talking old school wrestling on Wrestling Gold Friday night. That's going to be Friday night. Uh, of course, we're going to uh, do uh, this date in wrestling history. Of course, be May 3rd. Uh, also, this week we'll be going back to uh, late uh, late 80s a little bit. Um, I think I think it'll be around 87, 88. Anyway, we're gonna try to pull up some uh, Southern Championship Wrestling from Georgia. Has stars like the Mass Nightmares, Tommy Rich, of course. Uh, a few others may visit there, like Dick Slater and Bruiser Brody. Uh, not not sure who's going to be on this one. I got got to find one first. I haven't quite finished it up yet. But anyway, yes, check out uh check out both. Uh, of course, spot show live stream every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, Eastern, Eastern. <laughs> that is Southern. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Friday morning in Japan. Five or 9 a.m. Friday morning in Japan. 5 a.m. Friday morning in India, and of course, Wrestling Gold Friday night, every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Saturday morning in Japan, 5 a.m. in India on Saturday morning. That does it for me. Hopefully, everybody have a good one, and take it easy. Hey there. Thank you for checking this out. If you enjoyed it, share with friends. Drop a like button, leave a comment. Also, be a champ and hit that subscribe button. 
You can also check me out on social media, Facebook, at Ronald Ray. On X, or Twitter, is RPATRPTV46. Until next time. So long from the Peach State of Georgia.